السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ آئی ایم سجاد اکبر راتھر ٹیکنیکل ایڈمن ڈائٹ سوپور بارہ ملا دا پروگرام انچارج آف دس شالا سدی پروگرام ان ڈسٹرک بارہ ملا از مسٹر عبد الحاد گوجری سینئر لیکچر آف ڈائٹ سوپور ہیئر ان دس پریزنٹیشن وی ول ڈسکس دی پروسیس آف سکول ایوالویشن آن شالا سدی ویب پورٹل فرسٹ تھنگ وی نیڈ ٹو نو از دی ویب ایڈریس of the Shala Siddhi web portal that is shalasiddhi.nupa.ac.in Once we will put this information in the web browser and this home page of Shala Siddhi website will come. So it is requested here that uh, the teachers are teachers must rather use the laptop instead of mobile while submitting the information on this portal. because maybe some options may not be visible in the mobile version uh, that can create the problem later on so better is to use the laptop for this purpose so once we click this url we will get the home page and to log in into the website we need to click here on the login as shown here once we click here on the login button we will get this login page and on the left hand side there are the core dem domains given uh, that is domain 1 domain 2 and 4 5 3 domain 3 4 5 6 and 7 and these are the domains re- regarding which we need to submit the information so on the right hand side there is the login icon so for login we need a username that is usually the udice code and password uh, there are three options uh, given below new user forgot password and external user uh, as a new user for external user we need to uh, do nothing for this option uh, if we are a new user that is we have not done the registration before on this so we just need to click on this once we click on this a new user uh, we will get the create user web page once we click on this uh, you will get the select level uh, that is state level district level block level cluster level and school level so since we belong to school we need to click here school level after that we need to put the udice code the first name of a person who has been authorized to submit the information the last name the mobile number and email id email id uh, must be uh, of uh, official email id you need to put here so once you put mobile number here you will get a otp uh, on that mobile number and once you get the otp after that you can easily reset the password and uh, you can finally log in into the website but regarding the password uh, there is the rule given that is password length should be between 8 to 10 characters must contain at least one lower case upper case special character and digit and i have given the example that is sajad for example at the rate of 1 2 3 as i have put the capital it sets by every condition which is given above so it contains the capital letter that is s small a j a d special character at the rate and 1 2 3 and it is between 8 to 10 characters in the same way you have to create the password and finally creating the password you can log in into the web site another option is here forgot password if you have forgot the password what you need to do is simply click here on the forgot password uh, you will get here the another uh, page and here you ha- need to put the udice code uh, regarding this otp you need to get this otp from the district authority uh, which they will provide you and after putting the otp you will put submit and you can regenerate the password and the rule for the password will be same which we discussed before so in this way you can again uh, log in into the website so now you have the user id and password you click here on the submit button once you click on the submit button you will get this school uh, evaluation dashboard so what we have to do here is 
first we need to start the evaluation that is you have to start the evaluation from here as you can see here learners first we need to click on learners icon after that teachers icon after that school evaluation after that action plan after that report generation so we will discuss step wise first we need to click on learners button so once we put the click on learners icon here you will see you will get these sub icons here first you need to submit the information of learners profile and learning outcome after that learning outcome annual consolidated report after that you need to put the information on performance in key subjects i will discuss here only one rest you will be like uh, you will do yourself there once you will uh, log in in this web portal so once we i will click on learners profile uh, i will get this information as you can see here uh, first is demographic profile the number of social cost students learners social tribe opc general and minority and this is the information submitted as per the year 2019-20 and class wise attendance rate here you have to submit is number of boys girls and total and this you have to submit as the previous academic year so it is to be mentioned here you have to submit the information of uh, attendance as per previous year but demographic profile as per the current year it is given there uh, what type of information you need to submit for the previous and for the current it is given as per that you need to submit the information uh, another important point to be discussed here is that for example the number of boys in class first is zero so you need to put the zero here not to put this cell blank because if you put this cell as blank this forum will not get submitted so in this way this uh, learning profile and learning outcome has been submitted once you submit this next sub icon that is learning outcome you will click here next the learning outcome will come in the same way you need to put the information in the performance in key subjects so this is the uh, icon you have completed the learners icon after that you need to click here on teachers icon there are two sub icons which will come uh, first you need to submit the information number of teachers in each category uh, once you complete this after that you need to submit the information on teachers attendance so on teachers attendance for example i will click on teachers attendance uh, you will get this page uh, there is written the long more than one month and short up to one week so it means how much teachers have taken the leave more than one month and how have how much teachers have taken the leave short short less than one week and depending on the information as per previous year 2018 and 19 you need to submit this information another point i forgot here i will go back one slide since there are uh, this is a primary school it is like class first second and third only in terms of high school the number of classes will vary there so you have to set the data accordingly now once you submitted this teacher's attendance then you need to click on here the one of the important icon that is school evaluation composite matrix once you click here on school evaluation composite matrix you will get the pop-up window on that you have to submit the information on domain first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh i will just for for an example submit the information of only one domain that is domain first rest you will do yourself so once i will click here on domain first you will get this information school we can say evaluation composite matrix of domain first that is enabling resources availability advocacy and usability so what is here to be submitted uh, there are 12 core standards that is in this first core standard is school premises since this is the primary school here i am discussing uh, level one means what type of the is school premises available there if it is available in uh, like 
if it is of good quality put here level mark here level 3 if it is like uh, in terms of availability in terms of quality if the quality is also good very good put like level 3 if it is average put level 2 uh, in the same way you need to submit the information of other core standards on the right side you, there is the prioritize the area of improvement means doing do you need to imp what type of priority you need to give for the improvement of this core standard that is school premises you want to give it high priority in terms of improvement if it is if you need to give higher priority you need to put high if you need to give the lower priority you need to select here low if the medium priority you need to select the medium in the same way you have to uh, set this uh, process for playground if playground is very okay very nice put level 3 if the quality is very nice put level 3 if the quality is not good put level 1 and if you don't want to improvement do not to prioritize the improvement of this very uh, core standard that is playground put the level low so as per the information you have received from the HOI and from the school authority accordingly you can set these icons set these levels for each uh, core standard one important point here I need to mention is there a uh, school premises here it is NA means it is in disable option it is not enable why whether at this library uh, it is available uh, not available so these things you can see here library if it is like level 1 level 2 level 3 it means uh, library uh, is not totally available in uh, this uh, primary school you can put here not available means the library is not available for. so for some core standards some options are enabled here some are not that is here I can explain it again as you can see here library if it is level 1 means it is available uh, means but of low quality uh, we can say library is available okay not of good uh, we can say standard put level 1 if it is library is very nice everything is available put level 3 if it is totally not available put level like put mark here not available but for electricity and this ga gadgets this not available is disabled so you cannot mark not available against that core standard you need to fix the option from level 1 to level 2 or level 3 against that code standard so where not available option is enabled if that is like the we can say that you need to fill only if that is available if that is enabled rather if that is not enabled that is disabled you can't mark that against that core standard in this way you can submit this information there are 12 standards against like toilet if toilet is are available uh, you can put in a good number you can put level 3 if the quality is good put level 3 if the quality is not good put level 1 and if you want to prioritize it at higher level put select from the drop down menu here the higher rather high option in this way you have uh, like completed the domain first similarly clicking on domain second you will get another matrix you have to submit the information accordingly for domain second and after domain third four fifth six seven once this will be completed there will be another important option that is action plan very important uh, icon here what is that once you click on this uh, you will get this action plan for continuous school implement plan for academic year 2019 and 20 <coughs> so what here you need to discuss is first is mission statement mission statement should be 20 to 50 words uh, that is what you have to write here is the core points which will define your mission statement for the upliftment of the school and these points shall reflect all domains these domain seven is these seven domains they should be reflected in that 
mission statement and the points which will be of higher priority shall be pointed out in mission statement another once you fill this another uh, point individually you need to put the action plan for every domain that is for example for domain one you need to write here in maximum 15 words what is the area of improvement proposed action what is the action proposed action what type what type of support you need or what type of action you have taken likewise for domain 2 area of improvement proposed action support need at action taken domain third is learner learners progress attainment and development uh, area of improvement proposed action support needed action taken uh, in the way same way there is a domain four regarding professional development proposed action that is what uh, uh, area of improvement proposed action uh, support needed and action taken and domain five is school leadership and management uh, similarly domain six is inclusion health and safety domain seven is productivity productive community participation so you have to submit the action plan as per the format here given once you complete this we will click on submit button in this way you have completed the action plan as well so after that finally you have the report generation part so report generation part on the lower corner you will click on that icon these types of reports you will get and once these uh, reports you will get you have to uh, get these reports uh, uh, icon wise first i will click on the first icon uh, i will get the report of this after that i will get the report of school self evaluation report and uh, after that school external evaluation report after that school evaluation dashboard composite matrix status report so if i click for example school evaluation composite matrix what i will get this is the uh, report generation icon i will get the school evaluation composite matrix report as you can see here uh, we discussed this in the uh, school evaluation mat composite matrix this is the report whatever i have filled there this will be visible here since i have not filled anything there i have just discussed it with you how to fill this i have if i have put the school premises there advocacy availability and advocacy level 3 there here would have been level 3 and quality and usability if i have put there level 2 here would have been level 2 and prioritize i for example i have put there high it would have been level 3 level 2 high so whatever i submitted in the school evaluation composite matrix here it will be visible and this is the report generation icon so now another important point is i need to get the printout of this report simply there is the corner on the top uh, right there are icons this is the pdf icon if you want this report in pdf format you click on pdf icon you will get the report in pdf file if you want to get the report in excel file uh, you can get excel file here if you want to get report in uh, word file you click here on word icon so there are the reports can be available in pdf in excel in word for format uh, if you want to direct print out it you click here on printer in this way you can generate the report and you can download the report once you download this report you can print out this and after that make the seal and signature uh, by the concerned hoi and put that report in the official fire file for uh, future use and in that file also put your uh, udice code that's your user id and password so in this way on the left there is instructions of getting the report you can also you click on this get the instructions so in this way what we have done till now we have just opened the web portal we have filled the uh, start the evaluation from learners then we have submitted the teacher teacher regarding information then we have submitted the school evaluation composite matrix of every domain after that we have submitted the action plan and in action plan we have also submitted the mission 
uh, statement and finally we have generated the report and after generating the report we have downloaded that and finally we have kept that in official file this is how we can submit the information in uh, Shala Siddhi web portal now another points we need to discuss is that here I can uh, show here uh, once you log in, in you will get this this means what type of what information you have successfully submitted that means in learners I have not submitted any information it is marked by cross symbol red cross once I submitted the learners information on the learner icon this cross icon will get converted into a tick green icon once this not applicable means for there are three points there are like uh, three we can say sub standard uh, score standards this fourth standard is not applicable because it belong here is, I am sub giving the presentation of primary school maybe this will be available for high school and high secondary so you don't need not to worry this not applicable this is primary school this uh, standard is not applicable to what uh, primary school in the same way once I submitted the teachers information it will show this once I completed every school composite matrix of every uh, domain that are seven domains this will show tick and once I uh, submitted the school improvement plan this will show tick mark in this way once these all will get tick mark green tick mark it means your information has been completed and once completed it is we can say our job has been done in this way this is the process how we can uh, show, view our status of the information submission that is it shows the school self evaluation status what is the status of our information is that has been submitted or not another point is that uh, for example uh, I am the authorized person of some school tomorrow I may get transferred so once you log in you just need to update the uh, phone number of the current authorized person the first name the second name and the email I recommend you should put the official email uh, here because you need not to change that again and again so this is the option you will get from pro change profile uh, another icon is manage users you could request what you can do it once you click on this there is the request type pin uh, if you want to get the new pin you click here and if you want to data and freeze data and freeze means for example I have submitted the information now by one way or other way I have submitted some wrong information on one of the domain or uh, some other uh, like I have submitted wrong information in teachers uh, data or learners data so I have to do one thing I have to click on manager user request uh, click here on data and freeze this request will go to higher end to district authority or state authority they will accept this request once they will accept this request after that we can uh, edit the information and resubmit this information in this way uh, I think every icon here uh, we have discussed it finally there is the logout option uh, you can finally log out from the web portal once you have done your work on the Shala Siddhi web portal uh, finally thanks for watching this video uh, and for any queries please mail sajad mca at the rate of gmail.com if I will be able to answer I will try my best if I will not be able I will contact the state authorities or national authorities so that uh, they can help us and a request is subscribe this YouTube channel like and share this with uh, other teachers so that they will get benefited by this video and comment in the video any type of suggestions or any type of uh, we can say questions you have you can also put in the comment icon in the YouTube channel and also mark the bell icon so that you will get the notifications from this uh, YouTube channel Thank you, thank you very much.